Hey guys, and welcome back to Studio One with me, Gregor. So today I have the brand new Quantum HD8 here again in my studio, and I'm super excited to show you a new update in Studio One that enables you to engage a zero latency recording mode when using a new Quantum ES or Quantum HD interface. And you can use that for recording and monitoring in Studio One without the need for any extra softwares. So let's just get right into it. All right, so I'm in Studio One right now. This is a brand new song. And the only thing I've done here from the start page is to set the Quantum HD8 as my audio interface. And let's say that I just want to record a couple of vocals into this project here. To do that, I first of all need to add an audio track. You can do that by right clicking the track list and then selecting add audio track. In my case, I'm going to go with add audio track mono because I'm just recording a microphone which is connected with just one cable to channel one of my audio interface. And you can see that in this new audio track that got created, the monitor and record arm buttons are currently disengaged. So I've already covered this in a separate tutorial, but basically the record arm button allows you to record onto this track while the monitor arm button, that's this speaker icon right here, allows you to hear what you're currently recording. But right now these buttons are grayed out and that's because Studio One currently doesn't know from which input this microphone signal is coming from. I need to tell Studio One where that is coming from. So to do that, I just click here and then select audio IO setup. And this opens up the input panel here on the Quantum HD8. And all I need to do is just click add mono here and then select the port at which I connected my microphone cable to the audio interface. In my case, that's just input one. I can also call it microphone that helps me as the number of inputs grow later on to identify the channel correctly. And I can also give that a color if I so choose. But in this case, I'm just gonna hit okay. And now I can assign this here on my track and now you can see the record and monitor arm buttons are ready for us. What's happening right now from a routing perspective is that Studio One is taking the input channel and routes that directly into Studio One for monitoring. So we are no longer listening directly to the audio interface. We're just hearing the signal coming from Studio One so that we can then process it with effects and also adjust the level, the panning and things like that directly from uh, the AW. Now, because we have such great low latencies with the Quantum ES and HD interfaces, let's check it out. So in my case, if I go to the preferences and to audio setup, I can see that at 64 samples, 96 kilohertz sample rate, I have like an input latency of 2.2 milliseconds and output would be 1.61, which is really not that much. But for some musicians, like percussionists who really need no latency whatsoever. This is still too much. Also consider what if you're recording in an arrangement that already has a lot of tracks and plugins going on and you need to adjust your buffer size, right? I'm sure you've had this situation before, like the CPU is just maxing out and you need to increase the amount of samples like so. And suddenly the input and output latency has increased drastically. And if I would now monitor on this track, I can hear like a massive offset and this would be way too much for monitoring. Well, for exactly these situations, we now have the Blue Z mode as of Studio One 6.6.2 available on the Quantum HD and ES interfaces. The only thing you need to ensure if you want to use Blue Z mode is that here under audio setup and processing, the checkbox for native low latency monitoring is not engaged. You want to see a Blue Z here. Okay. And once you hit OK, you can then open up the mixer console and engage low latency hardware monitoring with a click on this button. In blue Z mode, you're essentially listening directly to the input channel of the audio interface. And the fader in Studio One's mixer is essentially controlling the input level of the audio interface channel instead. To demonstrate this, I'm just opening up Universal Control, which is the control software for the Quantum ES and HD interfaces. And as soon as Blue Z activates, you can see all the input faders are now unavailable because they're being controlled by Studio One instead, which saves us the round trip latency of routing the entire audio signal through Studio One. So no matter how much of a buffer size I currently have set, even if it was like 2048, I would still have zero latency monitoring for as long as I'm using Blue Z. The only disadvantage is that 
in hardware input monitoring mode, I can't use any insert effects in Studio One for that monitoring channel because like I said, the signal is not being routed through Studio One anymore. And so these insert effects are not available, but we can use send effects, however. And send effects are usually all I need in my vocal chain anyway for recording and monitoring purposes. So what I would do is to monitor engage this channel and, and if, if I, I turn, turn off Blue Sea, you, you can, can hear it has a massive, massive delay because I'm currently set, set to like 2048 um, samples buffer size. With Blue Sea active, this is immediately mitigated. I have no delay whatsoever. And because I don't want to record with a dry audio signal, I could now go ahead to the effects browser of Studio One, take something like the room reverb and add that as a send channel, just so that I don't have to record with a dry vocal chain here. And like I said, no plugins that are, you know, part of this song project will increase the latency is always zero. So this is amazing if you require zero latency, even in the biggest recording sessions. So go ahead and try it out. Zero hardware latency monitoring with full control from within Studio One in version 6.6.2 with the brand new Quantum ES and HD interfaces. Thank you for watching.